For thousands of years, humanity has gazed at the moon with awe and wonder. It lights up our nights, controls our tides, and inspires myths across every culture. To many, the moon feels familiar, a silent neighbor in the sky. But according to world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku, the moon may not be what we think it is. In fact, he warns the truth about the moon could shatter everything we believe about our place in the universe. Let's begin with the basics. The moon shouldn't even be there. Scientists call its existence an anomaly, a cosmic accident that doesn't quite add up. Most planets' moons are small compared to the planet they orbit. But Earth's moon? It's huge. So large, it stabilizes our planet's tilt and even helps life exist. Without it, our nights would be darker, our seasons unstable, and our oceans chaotic. The moon makes Earth livable. But the question is, how? The leading theory, known as the giant impact hypothesis, suggests that billions of years ago, a giant planet called Thea slammed into Earth. The debris formed a ring, and eventually the moon was born. Simple, right? Except it doesn't explain everything. When astronauts brought back moon rocks, scientists were shocked. The rocks were nearly identical in composition to Earth's mantle suggesting the moon and Earth are too similar. Yet the moon is missing elements found on Earth, like iron. Stranger still, its density is oddly low, and seismic readings from the Apollo missions revealed something shocking. When astronauts placed seismometers on the moon and crashed a spacecraft onto its surface, the moon literally rang like a bell for almost an hour. Michio Kaku warns us to pay attention to these anomalies. A celestial body isn't supposed to ring like that. It suggests the moon is either hollow or has massive underground structures we don't yet understand. Ancient myths across the world speak of a time before the moon existed. Legends from the Zulu in Africa, the Chibchas in South America, and even ancient Greek texts. Some described how the moon was brought into place, as though it was placed deliberately. Placed? By whom? And why? Kaku himself doesn't claim aliens built the moon, but he warns that the unanswered mysteries demand we look deeper. He calls the moon the Rosetta Stone of the Earth, because it may hold the key to our origin story. And if the moon is not what we think, then humanity has been living under an illusion for all of history. When people look at the moon, they see the same face every night. That's because the moon is tidally locked, meaning it rotates at just the right speed to always show one side to Earth. We never see its far side, the so-called dark side of the moon. For centuries, that hidden half fueled myths of monsters, civilizations, and even alien bases. But here's where Machio Kaku's warning becomes chilling. In recent decades, Space agencies have finally mapped the far side of the moon, and what they discovered was unlike anything expected. The far side is vastly different, rugged, scarred with craters, and strangely, with almost no maria, the dark plains we see on the near side. It's as though the two halves of the moon were forged separately, then fused together. Even stranger, are the mysterious structures and anomalies reported in NASA's own photographs. Perfect geometric shapes, towers miles high, dome-like patterns. Officially, they're written off as tricks of light and shadow, but many researchers argue the possibility of artificial structures, evidence of something hidden deep in lunar history. And then there's the question of water. For decades, Scientists believed the moon was bone dry, but in the last 20 years, they've discovered frozen water at the poles, water that shouldn't have survived billions of years of solar radiation. That water could be the key to colonization, or, as some fear, a resource someone else has already been using. Kaku points out another anomaly. The moon's orbit is mathematically too perfect, 
Its distance from Earth allows it to perfectly cover the Sun during a solar eclipse. Out of all the moons in our solar system, hundreds of them, ours is the only one that can create such a flawless eclipse. The odds of this being random? Astronomically small. Is it coincidence or design? Adding fuel to the mystery, classified documents have revealed that during the Apollo missions, astronauts reported strange sightings, glowing lights on the surface, UFO-like objects shadowing their spacecraft. Buzz Aldrin himself admitted seeing unidentified objects during Apollo 11. NASA's public explanation? Debris, reflections. But too many astronauts reported too many anomalies to ignore. Kaku warns us, when science and myth overlap, pay attention. The moon is not just a rock. It is a puzzle, one whose answers may point to forces we cannot explain. Some scientists even whisper about the spaceship moon hypothesis, the idea that the moon may be an ancient, engineered structure, perhaps hollowed out and placed in orbit to watch over Earth. Far-fetched? Maybe. But the evidence continues to grow, and the silence surrounding it grows louder. And if the moon is artificial, or controlled by something beyond our understanding, then humanity is living under the watchful eye of an intelligence older than our civilization itself. Michio Kaku is not a conspiracy theorist. He is one of the most respected physicists alive, known for his work on string theory and his ability to explain complex science to the public. That's why his words carry weight. When Kaku warns that the moon is not what we think, it's not speculation. It's a call to question what we accept as truth. Kaku argues that the moon is our greatest key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. He insists that by studying the moon, we may uncover not only the secrets of our past, but also the roadmap to our future. But there is a danger. If the moon was deliberately placed, or if it hides evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, then humanity must confront the reality that we are not the masters of our own cosmic neighborhood. Consider this. Every Apollo mission ended decades ago. Humanity has not returned since 1972. Why? Some say politics, funding, and priorities. But others whisper that we were warned to stay away. Even former NASA insiders have hinted that astronauts encountered things they weren't allowed to discuss publicly. Now, as space agencies and private companies prepare to return to the moon, Kaku's warning feels more urgent than ever. What if we discover something that changes everything? What if the moon is not a natural satellite, but a relic, a marker, or worse, a surveillance outpost? And here is where the warning becomes global. The moon is no longer just a scientific curiosity. It is a battlefield. Nations like the U.S., China, and Russia are racing to state claims on lunar territory, particularly the water-rich polar regions. If the moon is more than it seems, then this rush to control it may trigger conflicts humanity is not ready for. Michio Kaku reminds us that the moon is not just a rock in the sky. It is tied to life on Earth, to our survival, to our history. And if it is not what we think, if it was placed, if it was engineered, if it hides secrets we are not ready for, then humanity's greatest discovery may also be its greatest test. So tonight, when you look at the moon, remember, you may not be looking at a lifeless rock. You may be staring at a mystery older than civilization, a silent guardian or a silent warning. The moon has been watching us for eons, and now, thanks to voices like Michio Kaku's, humanity may finally begin to watch back. The question is, will we be ready for what we find?